Welcome back. Episode 3. We've been going strong. We are 10 games in now. I can't remember how many we'd played when I last spoke to you in episode 2. But you're back. It's zero to hero with a question mark because we just don't know how this is going to go. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Look at what happened. In episode two at the end, we lost to Southport. It weren't great. It was sloppy. We managed to get Burton, if you remember, in the FA Cup. I played that. I played Gateshead. We got hammered 4-1. We got hammered against Burton. It was horrible. The Geisley match, I think that's how you say it, Geisley. I have no idea. We lost 5-3, then we were 3, it was 3 all going into the end of the match, and it was so frustrating. And that was 4 losses on the bounce, and I was starting to think, maybe we shouldn't upload this series, because it's going to make me look like an idiot. Because I'm just going to go on this horrible losing streak, get the sack, and like, where can you go? From the bottom. There is nowhere else to go. But... We managed to pull off a 2-2 draw with Darlington, who was second in the table at the time. Then, we played three more games, beat Kettering, beat Bradford Park Avenue, beat Hereford. Away. We've now got episode three. We're going to play against York, and we're going to play against Ashton United. Now, I can't remember if we made any more sign-ins since we last spoke. The team is looking thin. There's quite a lot of young players. I've noticed that stats are starting to drop on a few players, which isn't great. Whether that's because of the training or because uh, I'm just not great at this game or what. I'm playing people out of position, maybe. One thing I have noticed. Traore has scored five. No, he's, I think he scored six in the last five games. Let's just check out the news here. Monthly loan stats, Leamington injury update, Campbell's out. Who have we had? I thought that was us then. Hawkridge, I was like, what? I've never heard of him. Reese Davis, the keeper, got in the team of the week. Traore gets Vanarama player of the month. That's right. Six goals in five games with one assist and an average rating of 7.72. He's only 19. Maybe I was a bit harsh on him in the first episode. Yeah, I like it. Oh, and we managed to get third on the manager of the month. Five matches, win ratio 60%. That's not too bad. 200 manager points. I'm pretty pretty pleased with that. So, thank you for joining here on episode three of Zero to Hero. If you like what you're seeing, please hit the subscribe button. Like, help me. <laughs> help me get this channel off the ground. At the time of making this video, I've got 49 subs. Maybe. I maybe have less by the time this is uploaded because people have like said sub that I ain't watching Football Manager. Or maybe I've got a couple more. I don't know. Like, let's make this the road to what I feel like one hundred subs is like way over the freaking horizon. We're nowhere near that yet. I have got another channel. I've got a channel called Anxiety United. It's got like nineteen thousand subs on it. Nearly twenty thousand subs. It's been going for a long time. Hence the mental health aspect, this is no stigma gaming. My idea was to try and bring mental health and gaming together and create this community for people that struggle with mental health, like that want to game, play Warzone together, and there's Facebook groups and all that kind of jazz. But at the moment, we're focusing solely on Football Manager 2021, and we're starting from the bottom with Leamington. We're currently 7th in the Vanarama National League North. It's interesting. Next match is against York. The squad, you know it, you've seen it. The team report, here it is. Trail Ray's up top. He's improved. Osborne, we play on the right. We've got Brown Sterling on the left. We play Jack Edwards in the middle there. Still not impressed by that position. I don't like it. We play Adebayi. We've got Wooten. We've got Matt Carter. We've got Meredith at right back. Parker, Ben Tricker. We've also got Baxter as a backup and we've got Joe White at left back, Reese Davis in goal. We've got a bit of cover, not a lot. We've got three lone players on. To be honest, all three of them are crap. 
he's injured for a damn long time, but it's a season-long loan and I can't terminate it, but we're not paying his wages, so that's not a bad thing. His value is only 500 quid. They're not getting a game, I'll be honest. We did get Masanka. Now, I don't know if we got him in episode 2. I can't remember. But we have got Masanka. He's turned out to not be great. He's got good potential still. Bit of value. He's quite high paid for the league that we're in. Has he even scored? I don't think he's even freaking scored. He's got one goal in nine games for us. Look, not great. Not great at all. Traore's got six in ten. I mean, that's not a fantastic return. By far, as they predicted at the start of the season, Sam Osborne is our best player. He's easily our best player. Nine goal, nine apps, two goals, plenty of assists. We did do the set pieces. Notice that we're scoring a few from those as well. So, I know what you're here for. You're here for us to play against York. It's going to be an interesting game. I don't know where they are in the league. They're 12th. So, I mean, potentially, we're ahead of them. We should beat them. Maybe. They've got one and a half star reputation. As was only one star. We're seventh. 17 points from 10 games. A goal difference of one. And that's because of those beatings that we had. It was rough. I'm telling you, when we lost those four on the spin, I was really seriously beginning to think that this was not the best idea that I ever had. So... He wants us to change it from positive to balanced. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep us positive because I want to push. I've noticed that the assistant manager, with the team talks and that, if I, if I click what he says, I don't get a response at all of the players and some of them are like demotivated and stuff. So it's not good. So I try and go for my own stuff if I think it's necessary. But yeah, a bit weird. A bit weird with the assistant manager. I'm not not overly keen on him. Let's have a look at the team selection. Again, Jack Edwards, not great. And all Gibbons. So where is Brian Sterling? See, the fitness levels. We're struggling with fitness levels. Osborne, struggling. We're going to have to probably play this one with Brian Sterling on the bench. That's what I'm thinking. Or do we start him? Do we start him? I mean, he's not been playing that fantastic, to be honest. We're going to start him. Then we've got Andor Gibbons, who we can bring on off the bench. His potential ability is, is superb. And he's on a non-contract as well, which is fantastic. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Adebayi has become like that defensive midfielder that I was looking for in the early games, where I was really struggling with finding a player that could play the defensive role of those two centres. We got one. Steve Watson, manager of York City. Let's have a look. I don't know any of their players. I don't know any of mine, to be fair. We've been on a good rate run lately, so go out there and impress me. Okay, we'll try it. Nothing. Not especially. But we'll see what happens. We'll skip that, and we'll get on with it. Let's go. We've still got key highlights on. It's always a bonus. Nothing for the first 15 minutes. Oh, we have two shots. Come on, give us a highlight. Give us a highlight. No, don't give them a bloody highlight. Duckworth with the throw in back to East. Tackled by Edwards, but he's never going to get on the end of that. Puts it in. This is dangerous. Oh, for Christ's sake. Jack Wedshaw. Sixth ball of the season. We don't need to see the replay. We've seen it the first time around. Osborne's having a poor game at 6.6. .6. But the fitness levels. Oh, that. You've been done there. And what is the keeper doing? Have a fucking word with yourself. Sorry for swearing, but. Look at this for defending. He's just completely left him. In behind, and that is sloppy, sloppy defending. Not sure which of the two centre-backs it was that was at fault there, but this is horrendous. 2-0 down, it's not even half-time. We haven't even looked like scoring. Let's get the ball down. Let's play. 
Brown Sterling. Out wide to Traore. Should be in the box. <laughs> what is that? So one thing that I have done since the... Oh, he's in behind again. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Who is the left-sided centre-back? Nathan bloody Baxter. I can't take him off. What I have no or done is set up a couple of different tactics. So now we've got the 4-2-4 on as well. Which I'm probably going to have to switch to. I don't want to take Jack Edwards off though to be honest. We'll leave it till half time. We'll leave it till half time. Let's see if we can pull one back. Let's have a chance. Joe White. Nothing. And now they've got a corner. I'm going to shout at him. Fire him up, man. Just before half time. Nothing, look. Flat lined. The hell's going on? We'll get them out for the second half and see if they can do anything. Osborne's having a poor game. Brown Sterling is ran his bloody guts out. We've got to throw him. And we give away possession. And away come York. It's a three on three. Okay, we've got men back now, but it doesn't really mean a lot, does it? They can still play it between our defence. Davis with the clearance. This is another goal. It's got goal written all over it. Okay, keeper's got it. Let's make some changes. We're going to switch. As I was saying, I set up a few different tactics. One for defensive, a bit more defensive anyway, and one for more attacking. So our two wingers are shot to pieces. And this is a problem because we just haven't got the cover for it. We can bring Gibbons on. I guess we can switch Jack Edwards for Brown Sterling. I mean, it's not suitable, but we're going to have to. We play Masanka as the target man. That should have been switched already. Traore. I mean, it's not looking good, is it? It's not looking good. Edwards can't do anything out there. We'll just put him as a support winger so we don't get too far forward. And we'll see what happens. I'm sorry if the mouse clicking is annoying, but I've got no other way of communicating with the game. Trail race through. It's a weak, weak finish. Really weak. And he's been on such fine form. He got a hat trick. He got a hat trick in the game. Masanka's the back there. The target man. Plays it through Wooten to Adebayi. Can he find a ball? He has. He's found Wooten who's missed another sitter. That's two. It's a corner. Come on, let's put one of these away. No. Give it back out wide. Wooten, get that ball across, man. That's unlucky. At least we're creating chances now. We're creating chances. We've had more shots than them. Dropping to 10th if this is the way that it's staying. Let's bring Ben Tricker on. We've used our subs. We ain't getting nothing out of this. Nothing at all. 2-0. York. See, we were the underdogs out there. You gave it your best shot. I'll click it. <laughs> Just because I said something. Now they're inspired and bloody motivated. They're playing me, man. They're playing me. They're trying to get me out. That's what's happening. We've been the underdogs for every single game, I think, that I've played. These aren't even in the league. And we're still the underdogs. So people have still got zero faith. Zero faith. In Leamington. And we're struggling to work within the wage budget. Of 
Traore is training well. Well done, man. Add a boy training well. And this is it. Fit the test for Jaden Campbell. One of the lone players just keeps getting injured. Not sure which one it is. Maybe Jaden Campbell. This is it. Oh, the Burton game was televised where we got hammered. So that was good. It wants me to go from posit positive to balanced again. Who are Ashton United? Chris Dagnall, the only live player, and he's 34. And these guys are nothing. He's the captain, he's the key player. Shoot on sight. When we do that, halfway through, you tell me to work it in the bloody box, didn't you? We will make that change, because I was going to make those changes anyway, but we'll check it out. Centre mid on support. Yes, that's ha I'm happy with that. Defender. Cover. Baxter. That's who was getting caught last time. No nonsense fallback. No freaking nonsense. Advance forward there. I mean, we'll start with this formation again, and we may have to change it. Everybody's looking fresh. Risk of injury is high. Match load is high. There's nothing I can do about it. it keeps putting him on the bench instead of Andal Givens, which is really annoying. I guess we have to just go for it. I mean... We've got no options. I don't like Baxter, but Parker's not at full fitness, so we're going to have to leave him out. We'll give Trey Ray another run. Seven goals now. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Ashton, United, in the FA Trophy. I don't want to go out in the first round. I'll be really disappointed if we get two losses here. We're getting the tackles in, but they're clean through. Hit the freaking post. They should be one up. Let's be honest. They should be one up. And here they come again. Meredith right back. Just get rid of it, man. Are you serious? And here we go again. In behind. Taylor Fitzpatrick. Slots one in. I'm just maybe not cut out for this football management lark. I don't know. What's going on with the team? They're just so up and down. It's crazy. Do we switch things up? I know it's early on in the game. Do we try and get to half time? We did that last time and we ended up losing 2 0. Do we make an earlier change? Maybe the 4 2 4 works better. Maybe Traore needs another strike partner because he's not doing a lot up there on his own. But he has got like three players around him. Every time the ball comes to him, he's got a player on him. Osborne wide right. Puts it in, but there's just nobody there. Nobody there. Okay, I'm going to make an early change. I know this is not the best. Not the best idea. Trail Ray's already knackered. We've equalised while I weren't bloody watching. Look. Okay. Oh, well. We're still pushing on. We get to see the goal. Traore comes deep, whips it through to Brian Sterling. It's the first time he scored in ages, and it's 1 1. And we've just made a really attacking, positive change to go 4 2 4. So let's see if we can create a few more chances. Maybe this is the way forward. We did definitely play so much better after we made that change in the last game. That is a sublime finish. Umar Traore with a dink over the keeper. And he put, we put 
he puts us 2-1 up in a game that started off terribly. But look at that run. Maybe because he's got that forward alongside him. He's drawing the defenders in as well. Fantastic goal. Eight for the season. Now top scorer. Can we defend the free kick? Nope. Oof, good job the keeper was on that. He was offside anyway. We make it to half time in the lead. Just not getting the responses that I want. Corey Lunt is on for them. They've got a throw. Baxter at the back post with the header. This is dangerous. <sighs> Baxter with the clearance. Nobody there. The right back, I mean the left back came in with Baxter. He didn't need to. I mean, I'm going to go positive. Oh, great. Every time, I'm telling you, every time you change that mentality, there's a highlight. And nine times out of ten, it's against you. Masenka, the target man, looks for Traore. Can he hold it up? Nope. Now they're coming away with it. You give it away, that's sloppy. We're both... Just sloppy. It's terrible. Look at that. Get it on the bloody floor. That's better. That's beautiful. That is sublime piece of play. Masenka. That might be his second goal for us. Oh, third of the season. Third of the season. <sighs> Problem is, we're still playing 4 2 4. Do we drop it back? I'm scared. Do we go cautious? We're going to go cautious. I just want to hold on. I want to win this game. I know we're still playing like 4-2-4, four, four, which is very attacking. Let's praise the team. We'll work the ball into the box. Let's just calm it down. Let's pause it while we have a look at these changes. What have we got? We've got... We can make two changes. <sighs> Let's take Sam Osborne off. And bring on Andor Gibbons. And we will take Adebayi off. For Wooten. He can play that role. He can play that role. We're going to keep him in that role. We're going to keep him there. And hope that we can just hold on. Ten minutes. Yeah, mark him. Press him. Do everything. Okay, we've got to throw. Two minutes left. White puts it across. Masanka with the header. Keeper saves. With two minutes out, I'm just watching that clock. Two minutes away from the next round in the FA Trophy. And I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll, I'll take this win over the win. Like, I'd rather win this than the game against York, to be fair. Let's progress in the cup. We can get that three points back against York some other time. Oof, that was a rocket of a shot from Traore. And it's a corner. With a minute ten plus stoppages. Just want to keep hold of the ball. Keep hold of the ball. That's beautiful. Oh, he just couldn't get on the end of it. There was three strikers or three forward. Three forward facing players. Dagnall. Go on, Masenka. I think you're probably on your own unless Traore can get there. But he is half dead. But he has managed to get there. Shoot from way outside the box. Ninth goal of the season. Second of the game, great ball by Masanka, and that surely, surely settles it. 4-2 Leamington, 
We're into stoppage time. It's a great goal. Fantastic. Let's get on with it. That's it. Whistle's gone. Look at that. Rise in the expected goals there. We just... We dominated. We absolutely dominated in the second half. Again, I made that change. We went one down. I made that change. And it was an upward trajectory after that. Maybe it's something to think about. Good win, boys. Well done. And that's pretty much the end of episode three here on the zero to hero. <laughs> it's a question because we just don't know. If you're enjoying this series, please hit the subscribe button. Like I say, it would be nice to just get somewhere. I don't know. Let's aim for five freaking likes on this video. Let's be realistic and aim for five likes on this video. You never know. 3.75k for winning against Ashton. Traore was on form. Got a brace. Connor Taylor injured. Don't think we've used him once anyway. Will we get the draw for the next round? When's the draw for the next round? So that's it for episode three. One loss, one win. We're through to the next round. We got Kings Lynn in the FA Trophy. I will bring you the next video. Because we had quite a long stint between episode two and episode three, maybe I'll make this one a little bit shorter. Do you want to go for a cup run? I'll do those two games maybe, and then I will be back with you for episode four and the King's Lynn game and then the Filed game. The Chester game here that's coming up has been rearranged. We had a waterlogged pitch, so that match was postponed. The fixtures come thick and fast. That's what I'm noticing. Like The players aren't having time to recover, which is a bad thing. But I'll do those two games. I will get back to you. Hopefully we'll be in a stable league position. I mean, we're okay at the moment. Tenth, mid-table. How many have we got? There's 22 teams and we were predicted 21st. So we're doing way better than the predictions. We've only played 11. If we win that game, we could go up to freaking third, which is crazy. I didn't even realise that. Our goal difference is pants. Minus one. But yeah, I'll play these two league games. We'll have a better idea of where we're going to be. And then I'll bring you the Kings Lynn FA Trophy third round and the filed game. I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Zero to hero. It sound right, boy.